All right, for those that have been following my videos on fixing a carbo mask, they would have heard that I went out to buy some tires again for my bicycles because I'd worn through some. And I thought, I figured, I'd give it a quick review uh, for those who are into road cycling, I suppose. So uh, I do cycle a bit, uh, race a bit over the years. I'm getting old now, so um, yeah, I did really well in some a grade races in the state of South Australia. But anyway, um, given that, so that's my qualification on knowing what I'm doing. Traditionally, over the years, probably longer than some guys that have been cycling are alive these days, I've been riding that. Conti's GP4000s, never changed, not a problem. Last year, I was encouraged by the local bike shop to give these a try. Pirelli, the P0 Velo, and I think they call the Four Seasons. Anyway, Four Seasons is not a bad thing. And I've also gone from a 23C to a 25. So I've had a couple of changes. Um, what are the differences and why did I decide to buy these again? Well... 25c and I'm a bit of a sprinter I have got a few Strava sort of power climbs being beaten by a motorbike here or there for a first position but anyway I don't care about that and I'm actually off Strava I just can't be bothered why did I buy those over the Contis well I've never tried the Conti 25s so I, I gotta provide that but I Going downhill, I think these stick better. And you say, well, what qualifies you on downhill? On Strava, down Montecute and things like that, I think I'm still in the top 10. Down a corner that, uh, it's called the Graveyard, a series of corners. I think I'm still in the top 10. So I, I can be quick. And but although these days I'm a little slow because I took a corner at 70 k's an hour and didn't make it. So now I ride a lot slower than I used to. What are the differences? Well, this thing sticks. Sticks more than the Conti. Simple as that. Coming downhill, the Contis are sensational. Absolutely sensational. And I wouldn't have changed for them. And I got encouraged. Try the Pirellis. Try I did. They are slightly better. So right on the 25s, great. Wear and tear, well, this is how the Contis work. When you start getting punches on these Contis, I mean punches, not, you know, a nail just so happens to go through the side wall. When you start getting punches from wear and tear on the Conti 4000, it's time to get a new one. So you get your first general run-of-the-mill puncher. Just swap it because it's time. That's how they work. The Pirellis work exactly the same. I've had one puncher, almost, almost 9,000 Ks on them. I bought them in August. I ride the heels a lot on them. I've worn them right down to the fibres. There they are. Down to the fibres. Didn't puncher. Punctured once. I don't know. It was an odd thing early on. I've done some dirt racing with it. Just one. One dirt race. <laughs> and they're new. They survive. So, yeah. I run the Pirellis. I'm 70 kilograms. 90-ish. 90 PSI at the front. 91, 92. 95, 98. Whatever you feel like. I like that feel. I don't want to ride a bike that feels like it's flat. But I'm converted. I'm converted over to these because it's so damn good. So try the Four Seasons. Maybe try it instead of that. And let your emotions decide which one you want.